welcome to the PPWL pitching tutorial where we'll be showing you some of our nastiest pitches. So let's get into it. First pitch we'll be showing you is the riser. What you want to have is your holes facing towards the bottom, your middle finger covering it, and then your ring finger on the bottom right here. There are two key factors about this pitch. The first one is that you want to release about one foot from the ground. And the second one is that you want to play with the speeds because different speeds have different effects on the ball. Here are some pretty good examples. Let's move on to the next pitch. This is the drop. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put your index finger in one of the holes and then these three fingers on the bottom of the ball. And you're gonna wanna throw this pitch from a side arm, arm slot. And you're gonna wanna get a lot of torque so that your pitch can have a lot of movement. Like Teddy said, the most important thing about this pitch is getting as many spins on that ball as possible before it hits the strike zone. This will allow for a crazy and almost unhittable pitch. Let's move on to the next pitch. So I'm Ray Flynn and I'm gonna be showing you my slider grip today. Ring finger needs to be in the middle of the ball, not on any holes. The middle finger needs to be right on the side, side of the holes and the pointer finger needs to be nice and tucked into the, close to the middle. The most important thing about this pitch is that you want to rip down like a football when you're throwing it. And another key factor about this pitch is the follow through. You want to make sure your follow through is solid for a good pitch. Let's move on to the final pitch. This is the screwball. It has pretty much the exact same grip as the drop ball, but instead of throwing it at like a submarine angle, you're actually going to bring it over your head and release down into the left of the strike zone. So it'll curve back in and hit the strike zone, which is nasty. So the reason that was recorded in my garage is because we actually lost the footage of Teddy explaining it. So I was actually just reading off of a piece of paper. So for this pitch, you want to release high and outside. Now, the reason this is, is because this pitch is very similar to the drop ball, except it screws in. So the ball will actually still drop quite a bit. And like the slider, the follow through is extremely important and having a good form really helps that pitch flow. Thanks for watching. This video took me forever to make, so I'm gonna go take a nap and I hope to see you guys next time.